TLO, what's pop? We are on kickkick.com. We are not live, though. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right above me. This is the channel if we do go live and you happen to miss it. This is where any highlights and things of that nature will be. Um, don't forget we do got the Patreon. We post five days a week, Monday through Friday. No Saturday, Sunday. This is where you can watch things that are not on YouTube. Um, got the merch. You get me. And don't forget the Discord. All of the links to this is down to the in the description of this video. Um, underneath, it says link tree. Just click it. Everything will pop up. This is hotel custody. It's becoming a steeple on this channel. You know what I'm saying? We like these. <laughs> we like these. I see a lot of channels. As more and more channels are coming out with stuff like this. And I, hey, I'm here for it. Salute. Let's get into it. This one's called Unhappy Birthday. True. Have you ever had a deep fried chocolate bar? No. Mars bar? It's a taste sensation. I had a bounce bar. It. Do have a picture of it. You ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Look at that. It's just to die for because it melts the chocolate. What's the white stuff? It's a oh, bouncy, isn't it? Oh, my. No, not for me, thank you. It's good, dude. It really doesn't do it. She makes it look like the way she eating it make it look nasty. I just ate it like a bar still. She cut it up, fork and knifed it. Like, come on now, chill. Don't be that posh. Just this. <laughs> Is there any chance we're not shopping? Certainly, I'll be down now. Number two. Oh, oh, here we go. For those arrested and placed under lock and key. Give me Where's the shoe? Now. Come on, son, let's have it. Birchin Way Custody Facility in Grimsby is like no other. We've moved along with the times, you know, we've left the old dungeons behind. This state of the art, 14 million pound entry. Don't talk. It may be a hero deal with new. No, not to pay for it, no. Rather than. And if. We don't need to watch it. Here we go. We don't gotta watch the intro. It's early morning at Birchin Way Custody Facility. Hello, what's the password? Can I come in, please? Nope, that's one guess. You've got two left. Team two are gearing up for the start of their shift. Welcome, everyone. What a busy day we're going to have. After a colourful night in Humberside, the custody suite is almost at capacity. So, 14 prisoners on the green side. Number 10, we've got... Um, he's got... Uh, just tell him to bring him back. We're busy. Hi, right, buddy, we'll pop down and see you in a minute. Yeah, we'll pop down and see you in a minute. <clears throat> he requires body mapping, um, which has been authorised. Hello, mate. Are you suffering a medical emergency? Yeah. Yeah, what's your medical emergency? <laughs> if you buzz again and it's not medical emergency, I'm going to turn your buzzer off. Before I joined the police, I had a few different jobs. I was selling mortgages at one point, uh, and I worked in Magaluf as a holiday rep. Number 14, he's in for peewits and money laundering. i got to remember, he's not a police officer. He is a... Uh, whatever this is, correctional officer, I guess. And that completes my side. In a lot of ways, it is actually quite similar to being a police officer. But sometimes you are stopping people from fighting. Please don't go into this job thinking that you are not him. 21, uh, he's in for threats to kill. You're dealing with drunk people on nights out as well, so it can be... I guess kind of, though. You are in that position of authority, but like you are, I don't... Quite know. similar to working in here on a Friday and Saturday night. 20. Who cut his hair? Just curious. Three, he's in for deer-related harassment. That's a gentleman who uh, seems reluctant to wait two minutes for whatever he wants. I think it's really important to be positive and upbeat. Have an awesome day, everyone. Yeah, you have one too, Sarge. I will. <laughs> I'm professional and I work hard, but I also try and have fun at the same time while doing that. Ah, he almost broke his back. Bastard, I'm gonna burn that thing. <laughs> Shit. 
You're just too easy, Ian. Is that defib working? You're all right, Donna. <laughs> Ian has the best ever reaction to the megaphone. I got a really good view of it. Yeah, what was it, you said? it was the arms. What was it? said you like about this. <laughs> if um, Ian wanted a career outside of policing, he'd be the man to get outside the car sales room, flapping away. <laughs> You're all cruel. Humour is so important, especially on the shift that we work on. Custody is mad, bad, and chaotic. <laughs> Okay, customer number one. Sergeant Steve's first detainee of the day is a male called Ryan. What's going on, Ryan? To me, yes, please. Who's been arrested for assault. Have you any drugs or alcohol today? Yeah. What you had, buddy? Loads. Oh. I've swallowed loads of drugs. Done. And is that what you've actually done or not? Because it's likely to massively delay your time in custody and things well, like that. I need that. to go to the hospital. Uh, you might do. Well, I, I do. I'm nice. telling you, I've yeah. swallowed enough drugs oh. that I need to go to the hospital. Oh, right. We don't always get honesty in here. When we're booking people in, they can tell us all kinds of things. Right, I don't know how to read this. Is he being sarcastic or not? If somebody's taken drugs, um, that could result in a medical emergency. So it's best for just to make sure that they're safe and well. Because you said you've swallowed some drugs, what I have to do is authorise a strip search on you to make sure you've got no other drugs on your person. What if these drugs burst while inside me doing all this? If, if, if the burst, then I advise you probably shouldn't have swallowed them in the first place. Oh, that's a little bit harsh, buddy. But the truth. He didn't appear to be under the influence of drugs. I suspect he's probably trying to play the system to get out of here for a little bit. I just find it frustrating that we could have the officers out there doing uh, proper police work. Yeah, they did the bastards. Did he switch into pajamas? Only time will tell if he's having drugs in his system or not. Didn't this, didn't have the same we'll pants he came? I advise you keep him handcuffed the yeah. entire time. If he is playing a silly game, I think it's going to cause him more inconvenience in the long run. If he start becoming aggressive, he's going to get more time for wasting police resources, right? And when he comes back, he'll still be investigated for the assault. It's not going to make it go away. Thank you. With Fargo, the new virtual. Forgot to turn on my uh, ad block once again. My bad. Where they at? They be having. Everybody look rich in these commercials. Like, is there any middle class? <laughs> like, what's that? I ain't never baked no cookie. Dang, two non-skippables? I feel you, no cap. This is what I have to live with. Are they flirting? <laughs> You're right here. I'm all right, it's <laughs> you. 12 hours locked up in here. It's a constant battle, and I think the best way to get through that sometimes. This is Ian Gallagher? <laughs> My bad. This is to have a laugh in custody. Can we get you again? Yes. <laughs> we take the mickey out of each other and some of the cat. You know what's crazy? Ian Gallagher in America version of uh of Americans of Amer in American version. He was a uh, he was part of the community and he was a firefighter. Characters that come in here and they do make you laugh. Here we go. Next to arrive in custody no. 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 is regular Mika. A fence, please. Handling stolen goods. Mika's been in a vehicle that's been pulled over. Mika's been in a vehicle and it's been pulled over and she's been done around and stuff. You all right? It got any arrows, please. I might ask it. Depends how nice you are to me. Be nice to him, he might just give you. One of his we get regular customers, the ones that come in time and time again, and you get to know them on sort of like a bit of a personal level. You look after them. 
43 years old now, and you know. 43? She done had a rough life, in and out of prison, probably doing some class A's, alcohol. This is why you got to stay, like, if, like, I noticed, like, in your 20s, hey, turn up. But once you get past them 20s, like 28, 29, it's time to slow down if you want to stay youthful. If you get to in your 30s still doing this, oh, yeah, you going to look old. Nothing wrong with that, but you know what I'm saying? 43 years old now and you know and you're still checking on. yourself into here no What's i'm not on? checking myself into here you twats are checking me so when i've done something wrong yeah my old man's up doing that with Wednesday. the pleasantries out of the way ian tries to get his line of questioning back on track vehicle stopped by police mika's been in that vehicle what's your name i know you not mika is it she's not driving yeah it's something like she was robbing her bag and the staff stopped her. She was travelling around the area trying to take a different shot in the inside. Yeah, just keep everything in here for now. Can you just put everything back for us? Yeah, sure. The vehicle was searched, and so both uh, people were... Is there a bit of sound and kind of stopped in there at all, so I searched just boring shit. All right, me, Sorry, Mika, Mika. I, don't, me... I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I can't progress this bit until I get the bit of details from the officer. They know what my shop pests are like. The thousands of pounds Mika. worth. Yeah, you know, I don't think they'll put cans of coke in that boot. Just not Mental health issues? Yeah, I've got bipolar. Have you ever tried to harm yourself? You know I yeah. have. This baby's what's done 360 in my world. Good, good. Mika's a regular. Every time she comes... What's, what's she mean, this baby? Is she pregnant? Who did that? I'm just curious. Like, no, I'm just, I'm not trying to sound like nothing. I'm just asking, who did it? Like, so she always discloses that she's pregnant. So she's either popping out a lot of babies or she's just pulling a fast one because she thinks she'll get trapped better. Okay, Mika, based on what the officer said, I'm going to authorize detention here at the police station. Oh, I want more than one mattress, please. I'm pregnant. Okay. The detainees have a one trap mind. Some try and treat it like a hotel. I'll have two of the cheese pasta bakes if that's all right. And some two bread. cheesy pasta bakes. Yeah. And a porridge. And a porridge. Yeah. You want hot and a partridge in a pear tree. Dang, she came through. You know what I mean? I mean, some of them we want to look after. Some, you know, they're not getting fed outside or they're homeless. Do you want two blankets, there you go. Yeah, please, can I have the tweezers I want? Three? Yeah, because it's really silly, isn't it? Come on. Oh, I don't know about that. She's really pushing her luck. She is in a sad situation. I think she said she's uh, living in a tent at the moment, which is not ideal. Hopefully we can get her housed and get a roof over her head. You sorted. Dang, they do all that? They really going the extra mile in here. They contact the council, get you housing. Some detainees can pull on your heartstrings. Anybody at any time could lose their job. You know, you're just a payday away from being homeless. I'm going to get you those cheesy bakes and hot chocolate, yeah? Please, if you will. Cheese? I kind of want a cheesy bake. I need to get to the UK. As much as it is irritating that people keep coming back, but these people do need help. Could Mika have two cheesy bakes and a hot chocolate, please? <sighs> All right, no problem. What about a porridge? In the morning, Mika will be charged with handling stolen goods. Don't you go eating all those sweets at once and choking? But until then, she'll be well looked after by the custody team. All right, darling. I hope she leaves in a better position than when she come in. She's trying to sort her life out. Good for her, I hope she does. Only time will tell. It's lunchtime. Hey, we almost had 60,000 subs, man. We should have been there, but, you know, all that happened at the beginning of the year, but I still salute everybody who stayed around, stuck around, didn't drop off the face of the earth because I lost, like, 6,000 subscribers because of what was going on, but it is what it is. And my motion, our motion was slowed a lot. But, you know, we back on track, finally. After a long day, after a long, what, eight months, 
You know what I'm saying? We stay consistent. We stay dropping videos. We got our we got the algorithm figured out. You know what I'm saying? Like, we good again. I appreciate y'all, man. Hit that like button. I appreciate you. Time in cost. <gasps> That's why I will never stop dropping. When times get hard, you just keep pushing through. It'll get better. Every time, it'll get better. Today, which means Jill's calf is open for business. 16 years of experience. <laughs> Did you ask for a breakfast? Yeah. Chocolate and lasagna. Fun. Thank you very much. The custody teams serve the detainees over 500 meals a week, so they're constantly preparing food. I can do you any microwave meal you like. Oh. You can have cottage pie, sausage and mash, all day breakfast, chicken korma, chili beef, chicken casserole, like lasagna. You ought to write a menu out. It's all in my head. We used to come into custody and we'd give set meal times and now it's like room service. Tell me what you want to eat and I shall go and prepare it for you. Would that be a nothing? Can I have a steak? I'm sorry, I'm all out of steaks. Yeah. It's just constant. I want to drink, yeah, we'll bring you a coffee, we'll bring you hot chocolate. Can I have a curry and rice? Yeah, I'll bring that. And then I want another one and then I want another one. I, mean, I swear I'm on a diet right now. Like, I'm, I'm really mentally in tune with getting myself back together. But this sounds good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a little hungry. I feel like after this, after these two little, this video and two more, I'm gonna go get some lunch or something. Have you seen the match? No. Some, some light little salad, no dressing, because the dressing is where you, you know, that's where all the, the, the fat, the calories is. Brown collar. Fairlife has 50% more protein, 50% less sugar, and it's still. And for all of you nutritionists out there, I'm only dieting really, really strict for 30 days. After that, I'm going to get on a real, a real, real realistic meal plan for myself and add in little exercises. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all got to remember, I used to be a D1 level athlete. So I know what, I know how to do it. And I'm, I have the willpower. I've just been so busy, you know what I'm saying, with life. But you know what I'm saying? To extend my life, you know what I'm saying? I gotta get back in shape. You know what I'm saying? My daughter be giving me the flu flux and I gotta keep up. I can't let her just outdo me like that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. A few hours later, detainee Ryan oh, arrested back. for assault is back from his hospital examination. And he's still trying the officer's patience. So basically, he said he swallowed a load of drugs. Whether he has or he hasn't, we don't know. How are you? Are you all right? However, at the hospital, uh, the gentleman was quite abusive, uh, and then he kicked a police officer. So you went off to hospital. What happened, buddy? Not a lot. Sometimes, what we do here feels like we're actually babysitting people. Have they treated you for taking the drugs at all? Exactly. You didn't take any. Why did you say you did? Because I wanted to laugh. Because you wanted to laugh. So you've made things more difficult for yourself. You've created extra work for officers. I don't give a shit, you don't give a shit. Basically, he was lying. He hadn't taken any drugs. He seems to be trying to do everything he can to make the process more difficult or slower. Ultimately, I think it's, it's himself that he's delaying things for. Um, you know, we just want to right. get on with the investigation and deal with them. And That's stupid because at the end of the day, they clocked in. They're getting this money. Rather you finna play games or not. I'm here collecting a check, buddy. You're here on your leisure time. Probably missing work. Stupid. Well, I tell y'all, once y'all in cuffs, it's over. Just, just take it. Just make it as smooth as possible. Because you're in cuffs. It's over. Don't get no attitude. Don't throw a fit. Just make it quick as possible. The quicker you checked in, the quicker things will go. Smoother things will go. They'll be nice. They'll get you food. Blah, blah, blah. Just get it over with. And yeah, processing for what he's been arrested for. Well, as far as I'm aware, when he was at hospital, you were kicking off and you've been arrested for a public order offence and assault a police officer as well. Is that right? <laughs> you laughed. Do you think that's funny, bud? They cried like a big fucking baby. Well, that'll be reviewed by the sergeant. Well, Sending him here on his own with no fucking cuffs on and no fucking punch fuck out of him, and then he'll know what that sort of piece it is. Right. He's just making things a lot worse for himself. Honoris, I'll get the toilet ready then for you. 
still unsure if the detainee has swallowed drugs. Uh, toilet's ready for you, buddy. Steve has prepared the custody suite's drugs recovery toilet. Unfortunately, if he has gone to the toilet, then that's going to be a dirty job for somebody. I ain't never seen that. Buddy, I did mine last week. They just wheeled in a toilet like that? So it's somebody else's turn. Ben, do you know how to use the drugs recovery toilet? I got Would you like to learn? I mean, yeah, why not? Fantastic. We have to feed people, take them to the toilet, take them out for exercise. You're completely looking after everyone's lives. You are right. And you're thinking, how do you function? Take them out to exercise? This is a holding cell. What are we doing? In this world. Got a window wash over to see what's going on. Sometimes you just think, just grow up, will you? Yes, you're under arrest, but you don't need to act like a child. Fortunately, on this occasion, it looks like the gentleman just wiped his bum and not actually had a poo. So that's it. Job done. He <laughs> just sat on the toilet and wiped his butt. He had a muddy butt from being out of our less activeness. It's crazy. But unfortunately for Steve, his babysitting duties are far from over. Here we go. As Ryan is threatening the officers in his cell. Use kayak. Y'all need to take him to a real lockup. Like somewhere that <laughs> is not with these nice officers. I mean, they're going to do their job, but he don't. All these, you know, privileges. Not for him, apparently. Detainee Ryan, who's been arrested for assault, is threatening officers in his cell, so they have no choice but to cuff him. He's been handcuffed when he's been aggressive, so we can see his hands. He's still obviously having to use the drugs recovery toilet. Oh, yeah, seriously, better take these handcuffs off so I can hold my cock and piss, eh? Like a good little bitch. I do really try and just leave my personal feelings at the door. But nobody should have to come to work and be threatened with violence or abuse. Uh, no, 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 Steve, that's the, Steve, I'm gonna be real, that's the job you chose. You knew that was coming with that, Steve. But nobody should have to do it, but in your job, it's, it's gonna happen. Threatened with violence or abuse, uh, that's not what we're paid for. Yes, it is. I'm calm now, mate. I'm calm. You, you, you do not want to see me angry. This is calm. Who do you think he's an incredible hawk? You have to just rise above it. He said, I am calm, mate. You do not want to see me. Come on, sit down. Person. Just try and let it wash over you and just ignore what people are saying to you. Goodbye. Move it. I'm really concerned that if he is released, he's going to be a risk to uh, that victim. It is something Humberside Police treat as one of their priorities and will use the, the full power of the law to try and prosecute those who are responsible for it. Just listen to my colleague, he's got some stuff he needs to tell you. So you're going to be charged with uh, using threatening abusive words behaviour like... Ryan is being charged with assaulting his friend and an officer. Finally, last offence is an assault by beating. Now Steve faces a difficult dilemma. If we get to the point of charging a suspect, I've got a decision to make whether they get bailed off to court or whether I'm going to remand them in custody, which means keeping them in the cells. So it's quite a big decision and a lot of responsibility on my shoulders. Am I going to get bailed? No, custody you're going to be staying here till the court, mate. And that's because I've got massive concerns that you will go around and further assault again. It can be stressful. We're dealing with quite difficult situations that, you know, a normal member of the public wouldn't deal with. And if anything goes wrong, the book will generally stop with me. But I'm comfortable with that. And that's my responsibility. Go back. Hey. <laughs> hey, he is furious. Oh, that's funny. As Ian is called away to court, Stuart, the custody's longest serving sergeant, reports for duty. Remember, <laughs> crime is a disease and you are the cure. Oh, I'm not the cure of anything. <laughs> <laughs> now, that was Robocop, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Yeah, work is a pleasure at the moment um, and has been, to be honest, for the last 20 years. How many more months have you got left? So? I have approximately 153 days left to work in Humberside Police. 153? And uh, I'm not counting them at all. And what's that in hours and minutes? Oh, I haven't done that. <laughs> I will miss it when I leave, but now it's time for me and the wife to enjoy ourselves. Tell me what you're going to do when you retire, Sergeant. Nothing, Donna. And where are you going to do nothing? On a beach in Fert Ventura. With budgie smugglers on or without? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to miss the people, I'm going to miss the work. It's what I've come to love. And when you know how to do a job, or you think you know how to do a job, and you think you do it well, then you always want to keep doing what you're doing. And how do you feel about retiring? I'm going to be totally honest with you, Mark. I shall miss it immensely. Yeah. Yep. Stuart's first customer of the day is checking in. Craft together something special in your home. We always find our way back home. How about to use craft cheese? Kids do, but if you've grown eating craft cheese, I don't know. Hey. Salute to craft, though. Is your hand bag? Now in it. Hang on one second. I want to lean on that wall, lean on that wall. It's a 60-year-old woman who has been arrested for drink driving. Hey, look. You just want to stand in that corner for me and just uh, take a little load off. Drunk driving and you got a boot on your, boot on your foot? That's, that's dangerous. Having a boot on your foot driving, it's not illegal, but it's, you know what I'm saying? It's iffy already. Now you drunk with it? I'm Stuart. That's Joe. What's up? What's your first name? Bernie. Bernie. It's Bernadette. But Bernadette. It's Bernie, yeah. Okay. What did she blow? Sorry, you Joe. One hundred eight. What's the limit? Thirty-five. So you're a little bit over. Bernadette's been seen by the local public uh, in Scunthorpe driving a car over the roundabout rather than round it. Bernadette, this isn't a trick question, sweetie. This is so I can look after you while you're in custody. Have you consumed any alcohol or taken any drugs in the last twenty-four hours? Alcohol. Two glasses of wine. Two large glasses. Anything else? Yeah. Oh, this morning. I had a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine this morning? <laughs> For breakfast? She going through some things. I'm 54. I've seen a lot of things in my life. I don't judge anybody. When you speak to people, Treat them as you would want to be treated. Yeah, that's what I'm this saying. She's going through some things. Any yeah. mental health issues? Yeah. Well, what's that, my sweet? Suicidal thoughts. And when was the last time you had a suicidal thought, my darling? Today. Trying not to get upset. When I see people come in with alcohol issues, it's it's really upsetting. And you just think, you know, what's happened? Why why have you got to that point in your life? So the next question is quite a painful one. Have you ever tried to harm yourself before? Yeah. What have you done and when, Bernadette? Taking a, an overdose an of overdose. medication. Try and be strong for me. How long ago? Yesterday. Yesterday. Dang. It does touch me emotionally. That's rough, man. You never really know what people are going through in their life. I felt it when she said I had a bottle of wine for breakfast. I already knew what was going on. You feel me? Hold on real quick. Especially if it's a female, I just see my mum sitting in front of me. My mum was an alcoholic, lived with her until I was 11, until she self harmed herself in such a way that I just felt I couldn't be there anymore. Bernie, are you dependent on alcohol or any of the substances? All right, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Would you say you're an alcoholic? Yeah. That's deep. That's deep. A lot of us, you know what I'm saying, we are functional, functioning alcoholics. You know what I'm saying? So, if functioning alcoholic, it only take like one thing or one situation to make you not functional and, and an alcoholic. Like, like, if you have a routine on when you drink, like, that, that's alcoholism. <laughs> 
Look it up. It's rough out here. That's why I quit. Would you say you're an alcoholic? Yeah. At Birchin Way Custody Facility, Sergeant Stewart is booking in. Like, like, yeah, every time I get off work, I go have a few drinks. Every time? For five days straight? And then you go out on Saturday and probably have something for brunch? That's a, that ain't, that's an issue. I don't, like, I ain't judging nobody, but like, calm down a little bit. Now, every day is crazy. Bernie. It's nothing to be ashamed of, darling. Who's been arrested for drink driving. I am really helped. Good. Well, I've got people here that can help you as well, Bernie. So if we need some help, I'll get it for you. Obviously, Bernie's going through a few things in her life. There are issues that we're going to have to address with her. All right, Bernie, you take care. All right. Yeah, all right. See you later. If somebody is suffering from alcoholism, there is a driving force behind it. And my mum was affected, unfortunately, by the death of her daughter. Oh, wow. But you either succumb to it or you drive past it. While Bernie sobers up in her cell, Stuart calls liaison and diversion. It's just going to be a, for the interview. Birch and Way's unique NHS mental health support team. We have a healthcare professional that's with us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Anxiety and depression is massive in this town. We get a lot of people through the door that have got drug issues, alcohol issues. All right, you take a seat either side. The liaison and diversion team that asked them whether. Nah, seriously, man. If y'all got drug and alcohol problem and you watching this and you feel like you got a problem but you don't know, a call that number is not embarrassing. It's actually a stand up thing to want to get help. Trust me. And if you bite it, if you get it down earlier, the earlier in your life, the better because the longer you wait, the harder it gets. Hit that number. I don't know the number, but look it up. You'll see it. They need any help with alcohol, housing issues, and hopefully point them towards the right people. Mm. It's nice to talk to somebody because I don't have anybody yeah. to talk to. Would you consider using them if we can get you some support? Yeah, there? I'd consider anything just yeah. to get me out of the place I'm in mm. at the minute. I know it's a difficult thing to do, but you need to look after yourself. You know, it's day one of getting that extra support and trying to turn things around for you. Alcoholism is it's a disease, really, and it's about reversing that situation. It's an eye-opener. I think it's time for a reason to make me realise that um, you don't find happiness at the bottom of a bottle. You don't. Having been charged with driving under the influence, Bernie's time in custody is over. Now you got a DUI you got to deal with. Probably a suspended license for two years or however long. Probably some some type of community service. It's a lot now. We only ever really see the bad in here. But you often get one or two um, that are really nice people that have made that genuine mistake. Please. Me? I, I only wish I did have, but no, I haven't, alas. Um, one of them faces, yeah, yeah. one of them faces. Uh, one of them faces you'd like to eat? Yeah, I've been told so many times. I'm definitely a people person. I think in this role and in this job, you have to be, because you have to make sure that you're there for people and you listen to them properly. Right. Put a wig on me and a dress. And well, I, look like, a I, look like, I look like Mrs. Brown. Yeah. Or like the bloke out of Home Alone, the little fella. <laughs> Don't be rude. He does actually look more like him. I feel very, very lucky to have found this role. I never thought I'd enjoy it as much as I did. Yeah, make sure you look after yourself. All right. I like this little old girl. It, it's certainly a role that a lot of people don't enjoy. Um, but I love it. I love coming to work. Yeah. And when I go, I'll miss it. As the sun sets, Stuart and his team clock off for the evening. Oh, it's a bit chilly out here, isn't it? It's a bit different. And a special night shift for Sergeant Jason begins. Um, <laughs> Happy birthday to you! <laughs>
celebrating his 50th birthday by working in custody. Oh, he's 50. Thank you, thank you. I am going to turn into a grumpy 50-year-old, I think. Um, you brought your pads ready now that you're an old man. Happy birthday. They bought me some nappies. This is, see, now this dude looks youthful for a 50-year-old. He's done the right things. <laughs> you know, genetics play a part in it, but, you know. My incontinence, apparently. I probably could get them on, but I'm not Go going on. to. Go on. <laughs> on your head. Is that how you're supposed to wear them? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the diapers my daughter's daycare be putting on her. The pull-ups, I mean. I'll be picking her up like, yo. Oh, my God. Switching them pull-ups up. Like, Beautiful. Stand them things. <laughs> no. If you're all pulling in different directions, then this could be a, a horrible place to work. But we sort of see ourselves as a little bit of a family. Some of us do things that annoy other people, but that's how all families are, aren't they? We're like a dysfunctional <laughs> family. Right, enough of all to work. Let's get to work. Boo. Everybody else in the place takes a night off on their birthday, except Muggins here. Use Haverty's free design service. At the end of the day, you're a grown man. You shouldn't be taking a day off on your birthday. <laughs> Bill still got to get paid. You yeah, get me. Before Jason can fully celebrate his milestone birthday, he needs to survive the night. And don't take the, if you do take a day off, take the day off after your birthday. People make that mistake. That's a rookie mistake taking off your birthday. Take the day off after your birthday. Because that's when you're going to need it most. That's when the hangover hit. Night shift. All right, I'll take the first one that's in the airlock then. We have a adult male coming for common assault. He looks like he's behaving at the moment. <laughs> the latest custody detainee is a familiar face with a volatile reputation. So I said, he looked like he might turn up. All right, Ty. How are you? Yeah, not bad, mate. Uh, when detainees come in, you know, I always say to them, if you're respectful to us, you'll get treated with respect in return. Uh, unfortunately, not all the detainees go along with that. Okay, and the first of He looked like he just brewing, <laughs> waiting. Pence. Threatening um, a female with what she believed to be a bike chain. Bike Who chain. Who fucking bike chain? Who said a bike chain? Really for that shit. Um, are you gonna let me speak then? Yeah. Speak then. I'm trying to, but you keep Ty, yeah. saying fucking shit to me, mate. Um, Ty's been seen to push around. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Okay. She's all right, so, yeah. When the oh, they got body cam footage. Okay, you can't escape this, buddy. The arresting officers arrived. Ty barricaded himself inside his house. Or lock, lock the door. This is coming at you, so. He's got a weapon in his hand. With a track record of aggression towards oh, police, SWAT. he threatened officers with a screwdriver. Turn around, to walk backwards. To your left, to your left. Sergeant Jason must now make sure that Ty is not backwards. To your left. They did the most for Buddy. Yeah, it is what it is at this point. Come now. Sergeant Jason must now make sure that Ty is not concealing any other weapons. I'm going to authorise a strip search. Okay, there's a previous marker on here for conceals, Ty. Yeah, four. Four. Okay. Well, we'll that. There is never a typical day in custody. The kind of problems we get could be someone who's extremely violent, self harm. Having stuff concealed on them. Right, we'll drop the case for us. And just do it in there. Nothing all right. He's got something sticking out. No, no. Okay. Ty, if you've got something sticking out, you've no. got mates, it needs to come out. What is it? There's nothing there. There is something there. Or they... You might just have like a little hernia or something. I won't be saying it. Turn around then. Okay, squat down. Okay, Ty, I can see something there. So are you going to pull it out? Because it, all it's going to do is prolong your stay here. I don't give a fuck. Okay. There's nothing there. Sorry, He's a career criminal. He knows fine well that we are not going to put our hands up another person's anus because we will be assaulting them. Take his trousers up, put the handcuffs back on. He could have something up his anus, and if it is Class A drugs and that bursts in his stomach, then could perforate his bowel and kill him. So he's going to go up to the hospital, and hopefully we'll get the doctor to remove it. Don't let him put his hand anywhere near his ass. Ty needs to be transported to A&E. But getting him there won't be easy. 
Got to be a long night for you, boys. So I'm, I'm going nowhere like it's mate. You'll do as you're told, Tony. Yeah, okay. You're covering me up with it. You are covering me up with it. Okay. I, yeah, and guess what? I don't give too much. Right. Don't play Sold it. Sold off there. Ah, they hooked them. They might need an extra pair of hands. Okay. And guess what? I don't give too much. Right. Don't play. Sold off there. Okay. Fuck me. You do what you've got to do. They might need an extra pair of hands, but the hospital is getting real difficult. Ain't walking. I ain't give a fuck. Your heart rate can raise sometimes when you put in some sticky situations. Yeah. Give me the best you've got now. Come on, son. Let's have it. Unfortunately, this is what police officers have to deal with on a daily basis. Oh boy, look, they got him hemmed up like a Sunday turkey or something, like a chicken. Rotisserie chicken. You know how they tie the rotisserie chicken with a little rope? Look. He just wants to be awkward. It's him trying to wrestle back a little bit of control. All you're doing is prolonging everything. Oh, dear. Another satisfied customer. Boy, mate, all you had to do. Hey, they got him out of there quick, too. Oh, man, that's 14 minutes in. It's We've the been here too long. Night, My bad. And Sergeant Jason's busy birthday shift oh, is about to get even busier. There's a lot Thank of possible thumbnails here. As a woman arrested on suspicion of assault arrives in the van dock. Hello, young lady. Not her. Why not? Well, you won't really, will you? Um, um, if you kick any officers, you'll be arrested for assaulting a police officer. We're about to book in a volatile female. She it's was... always the little ones. They get so aggressive. Kicking the cage in the van, so we had to use a bit of force and take her straight to her cell. I can smell alcohol on her, so she's clearly had a drink. She's not doing herself any favours. It'd be a lot easier if everybody came in, get dealt with, get released. Right, sit down. Right, stay back against the wall now, sweet. Okay. I'm gonna see. What was your first name? You know, fucking you saw me. Why should I talk to you? It's not fair. It's not fair. Just listen. Just listen to me. Okay. Right, I don't want to listen. She's red. She has non-natural redhead. We already knew what was going on here. Can we get a female officer down here for a search? You smell like a piece of shit. As I'm in the midst of applying for resident. She got a broke nail too. It's really up. Mm -mm. She wants all the smoke. Oh dear. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, was, was it? No, no, I'm very disappointed. Sometimes discretion is better than valor. I could have stayed there arguing the toss with her for ages, saying, no, this is what's happening, this is what's happening. But it just wouldn't get us anywhere. Yeah, it's kind of the special day where you wish you'd taken the day off, <laughs> and you didn't. <laughs> what's your name? Oh, sorry. I've been asked to come search you. Vicky must try to keep the woman calm while she searches for anything Look that could cause hands. harm. Anywhere I need to be particularly careful with? Are you hurting anywhere? No. no. All right. Well, yeah, the intensity in here can be right through the rafters. You never know how people are going to deal with being in custody. So, yeah, you've always got to be ready for whatever reaction they're going to throw at you. You alright me taking your earrings out? Well, what's the reason? Because I don't know anything about you. You don't need, you don't need to sit here. Shut the fuck up. Don't speak some like shit. Tell, I'll just ask you the reason. So don't ever say, because I'm taking them out. Tell me the reason you're fucking I'm, taking I'm them out. So shut the fuck up, speak some like shit. I'm sick of it. You are not free. Why are you putting me away? A lot of the time, they'll accuse you of. I'm, t hey, I'm telling you, when they got. When, when they dye their hair red, it's a red flag. 100% of the time, like you going through something in life where you just want that fiery appearance. Like it's a, like I don't already know. Talking down to them or patronizing them, that's not me, I don't do that. I will always try and treat people that come in as human beings. 
And actually, in the long run, you potentially can get more out of them. I know it's not an excuse. I'm trying my hardest to keep calm. Okay. While Vicky tries to defuse the situation, Jason begins to work out why the woman has been arrested. Anyway, how are you, Brett? I'm not bad, Sarge. How are you? I'm good. It's my birthday today. 50. Never. It's her birthday as well. It's her birthday? Yeah. Is that why she... Ah, oh, we're kindred spirits. You should have said something. <laughs> <laughs> OK, time of arrest. 1934. OK, and the offence? Uh, Section 18 is on. Police we'll responded to hands. a 999 call from the woman's address. She didn't beat up her boyfriend, didn't she? Emergency. I, we've got a stabbing for you. There's a person who's stabbed still there. Unfortunately, we don't know at the moment. The injured man has left the scene, leaving the woman as a potential suspect. To be what they've said is, he's in the kitchen, picks a knife up, slit himself. Unconvinced by her story and threatened by her behaviour. I'm telling you to stop shouting and swearing. Don't, I'm, I'm swearing. The police decided to arrest her. It's kicking off. Keep running around. When the police told me that I was getting, I was getting arrested, how I should. I got scared as well as okay. freaks out. You've got anxiety has gone through up here, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I can't yeah. explain what's wrong, but I feel too daft right. now, so it doesn't matter. So if we get your cuffs off... Mood swings are a, a constant thing in here. People come in volatile, aggressive, shouting, bawling, kicking off, and then two minutes later they're so calm. But it can go the other way as well. I will always try and empathise with people. She got to be a Gemini in there. She in there tweaking. Well, it just makes it a little bit more difficult to empathise with them when they're shouting at you. Well, she's left alone to calm down. Detention Officer Sarah tries to lighten the mood on Jason's birthday. Detention Officer Angry Dory. I thought it was Sue. <laughs> <laughs> I like the job. <laughs> She's going to hate you. No two days are the same. She's my stress ball. It has its ups and downs as well. It has its bad sides to it. And then she turns into that look. <laughs> now it's definitely angry Dory look. You get to know everybody on such a personal level because you spend more time with your colleagues than what you do with your own family. I think you've got an extra member of staff. You probably might. And that's a problem. <laughs> People always give their job more than they give their own life, man. That's tough. I mean, and, and it's like you almost, you got to. You give a job 40 plus hours of your week. And then you give sleep, what? Another 40? That's on the low end. Like, what, do you, what left do you have for your own time? More useful than a lot of the other ones. Oh. Keep your gob shut, Sarah. <laughs> the fun you can have with a rubber glove. Yeah. I need to pack it in, don't I? Meet Fargo. The fun you can have with a rubber glove. Don't tell a prisoner that. Hi guys, Paul Ren, please. Ty has returned from hospital after a bag of drugs was removed from inside his body. It was found out that it was a Subutex, which is a, uh, a substance that's given for heroin withdrawal. It's a Class C drug. He was arrested and charged with various offences, including possession of that drug. Come on in, mate. The custody team needs to make sure that Ty hasn't taken anything from the hospital that could be used as a weapon. We can't guarantee that you've not got anything else there. Um, the handcuffs are going to stay on, but they'll go to the front. Maybe he thought he was going to get away without a strip search, and his demeanour's just changed. What's your lot cocking out, yeah? So that instantly arouses your suspicion. What are you talking? I thought you know what, This dude just loves sticking stuff up his cavities. You've been making threats, though. I'm going to make you wait a minute. Yeah, right, it's a... Don't go fucking threaten more. It's a fucking threat. 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 It's a fuc
Yeah, I mean, stop playing them type of guns. Play get, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Simple. It's been a birthday to forget for Custody Sergeant Jason. We haven't had the chance for a cup of tea. No. It's even better if we had some nice cakes to go with it, wouldn't it? Let's sit up here. Well, I may be able to really help. Sergeant. <laughs> <laughs> and now, repeat offender Ty is testing Jason's patience by resisting a body search. Yeah, I still want two of you out, three of you stay. You do have to get hands on quite a lot. Special call, boys. So if anyone's <laughs> thinking of joining the police, uh, you are going to be rolling round on the floor and you are going to be fighting with people. Sweet out, dude. I'm here. Ty finally calms down, and after a quick search, the team are confident he's clean. <laughs> what do you think? He was like a angry animal. Oh well. Uh, and now that everything's been sorted, he's friendly. Yeah, it's like that. Once they flipped that man, slammed him on the ground, and got him <laughs> to concentrate. What's my job? And if I treat it, it's your job. Put it me. Thank you, man. I'm going to go back to jail now. I don't want to go back. I didn't intend to go back. The car seems to break away from it. I think it's quite sad that um, people are in that vicious spiral. The town like Grimsby is quite poor. There is a lot of unemployment, there's a lot of drug taking, there's a lot of alcohol abuse. But you've got to have an element of responsibility in your life. And clearly for me, that, that guy spent his life committing criminal offences, getting convicted, going to prison. Please face forward. We want to try and rehabilitate people. Oh. But there's only so many times you can sympathise. And when someone's committing 50, 100 offences, you know, where do we draw the line? In the morning, Ty will be charged with assault and drug possession before being returned to prison. <coughs> you fix that roof. Just emptying all the cells out. Getting them all nice and clean, ready for the next shift coming on. I definitely wouldn't want to stay here for the night. I would count the tiles, just something to pass the time. <laughs> there you go, catch up on your sleep. I'm experienced. <laughs> You're doing all right though, aren't you? I was just about to say that, just go to sleep. I'm perfectly fine. Good. Sometimes it is like having a load of kids around you and they're at you all the time. Have you got any questions about your detention? No? OK. The hot chocolate was good. The hot chocolate was good. OK, I shall pass it on to the chef. The woman came into custody with a car full of belongings. Oh, this lady. Pregnant. It's now Sarah's job to search through it for evidence. It's going to take forever, isn't it? It looks like uh, they've been kicked out of where they live and all of the belongings have been shoved outside. So they're about to come here. Yeah, they were skint. Can't pay, we'll take it away. I think it's everything that they own. Two pack. It's a W shirt. Cannabis, full of it. Bag full. Little scales. As Sarah finishes checking the bags, the woman's assault charge is dropped, as the man at her birthday celebration has admitted to causing the injury to himself. Yeah. Allegedly. Yes. I'm sorry about earlier. I'll tell you what, you actually seem like a very nice young lady but last night. Whew. Yeah. Dream tour. Yeah. Well, obviously, I was a bit upset. I know I didn't do it, but I was scared. But I don't know why I was scared. I was just miles all over. I had so many emotions. Do a they should have showed her face. 
It's all right, these things happen. We don't take it personally. Sometimes people will come into custody and they haven't committed any offences. I know, obviously, you had a drink last night. If you do struggle with alcohol and stuff like that, there are agencies out there that can help you. It was for my okay. birthday for Paul. Yeah. Well, I, I was here for my birthday. So. <laughs> However, we don't know that you're innocent. So, shouting and protesting isn't necessarily going to help you. All right. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. As the woman's bags are prepared for her departure... You make a great Inspector Beardy. Yeah, where are they going to put the that? The custody for? team can finally turn their attention to Sergeant Jason's special day. Should we have one of these? Watermelon salted lager. Ah, oh, lovely. Ah, oh, the little glasses as well. Sorry, I'm welling up here. My wonderful custody team have bought me some of my favourite beers and some chocolates. I can't oh, believe you bought me this. Gaz, can we give us a kiss, big man? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very work, much. Working a big oh, birthday older... isn't much fun. Working any day isn't much fun. But we spend so much time with each other, it'd be a horrible place to be if you didn't get on with the people that you work with. So is this what we always do in custody, buy each other presents on birthdays? No, it's just... It's just it's, uh, when I was working the 9 to 5, that's why I don't understand why people come into work and have beef with their co-workers. Like, what are you... What? Why are we making this harder than it needs to be? I got to see you every day. Like, Oh, real. Oh, thank you. The most important thing is having people around you that you can rely on. And I know that there's a lot of people out there that haven't got half of that. So, yeah, I suppose it makes me more appreciative. Has it been a good custody birthday today? Uh, no, it's not. It's been fucking shite so far, let's be honest. But uh, I've got something to drink at the weekend, but oh, I'm really... Thank you, Vic. Six pack in a box. Having been in the military and been away for most of my birthdays anyway, it's never really been a massive thing to me, but uh, the team really made it feel special. There you go. From my custody family. Can't be bad, can it? Oh, <laughs> thank birthday. you. Thanks. Are we done? Oh. The reality. Ryan's assault charge was discontinued, but he was convicted of assaulting an officer while in hospital. That's even worse. He was sent to prison for five weeks. Yeah, that's worse. Mika was not charged for handling stolen goods, but was given a 16-week suspended sentence for breaching condition of her previous discharge. Berwin... Ber, ber, what is it? Bernie was convicted of drink driving and suspended from driving for two years. Told you. She has since given up alcohol. Good for her. Ties, assault, and drug charges were dropped, but he was later convicted of burg. Y'all should have just booked him for drugs and and and, 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 and assault. Now you burglary. Now you really in jail for a longer sentence. 40 months offending whilst on bail. <laughs> Yo. That's like three, four years almost. The aggressive female had assault charges dropped but was convicted of assaulting a cameraman. <laughs> hey, she beat up a cameraman. That's tough. Tia, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I'm gone.